tonight's headlines are powered by Top Brand, 20-year-old charged with murder of GWI employee, Kane Harvesters calling for Guy Super to pay them on time, and Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago Inc.'s Memorandum of Understanding. News in Depth begins now. Good evening with the news tonight. I'm Royce and Drake. Thanks for joining us. We begin the news tonight by telling you that a 20-year-old was today charged and remanded for the murder of that GWI employee. Matthew Parks, a 20-year-old youth from East La Penitence, was today charged with the murder of 22-year-old GWI employee Roger Allen. Allen was stabbed by the suspect at the corners of Durban and Chapel Streets on September 13th and succumbed to his injuries hours later. Parks was arraigned in the Georgia Magistrate's Court before Chief Magistrate Anne McLennan, where the indictable charge was read to him. He was not required to plea to the charge and was remanded to prison until October 10th. Durban and Princess Street's residents said the murder stemmed from a row over cigarettes. The incident started at a shop on Durban Street and ended at the corner of Durban and Chapel Streets. The man was helped by residents who took him in a car to the hospital. Residents said that the men had an ongoing problem, but it escalated after Roger went to the shop to buy cigarettes and was accused by the suspect of touching all the cigarettes in the pack. At the court this morning, Allen's relatives broke down in tears while the dead man's sister asked Parks why he killed her brother. According to the police report, Allen visited the mini mark where Parks worked at earlier on the day in question. There are reports that Parks left his workplace and was confronted by Allen, who was reportedly armed with a piece of wood and a knife. According to the police, a scuffle ensued and both men received injuries, but Allen's aunt said her nephew was not an aggressive person. The woman said her nephew did not start any fight with Parks. More news after this break. Stay with us. Hey, looky there. Let me go to take your boots. Boots? No, mama, mama. I ain't gonna get lack of teeth in them big stinky 30 second hand boots. Plus, it can be more cheaper online. And don't get my favorite color. Pink. Let me go on. Online shopping. Cheaper, faster, better. Pass back. Are you having problems sleeping at night? Well, worry no more. Comfort Sleep mattresses are simply the best. Comfort Sleep provides quality products, factory fresh and better value. With every purchase you make, you become part of our family and help to fulfill the need of the less fortunate. Comfort Sleep, as part of their corporate duty, provides meals for over 500 children in regions 3, 4 and 6, three times a week. This, among other charitable events, year-round is part of our mandate. What are you waiting for? Keep the dream going. Be part of this great family. Comfort Sleep. Eccles Industrial Estate, East Bank, Demerara. Telephone 233-3013 or 233-2657. Email comfortsleep49 at gmail.com. Karibi Rice. From the lush rice fields of Guyana, straight to your home. Ruby Rice, our people, our rice. Welcome back. Cane harvesters are calling on Guy Suku to pay them in a timely manner. And before we go, good news for Guyana. An agreement was inked between Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago. And before we go, good usually is no money in their account until days later. But these people inside they don't have respect for the people out here for nothing. You cannot give the bank fault, I cannot give nobody fault. You give the guy Suki industry fault link with the government because all of them is the one. This year I was, I was struggling at the time. They, they're supposed to pay out since Friday, they said they didn't get money. Guy Suki didn't get money, they said to the year to pay. Yeah. The harvesters said the situation is nothing new, and even though they usually budget themselves, they most times end up digging a hole to fill a hole according to them. 
In some cases, their relatives are the ones who would have to stand in the line to transact their business, and they too spoke about the frustration. Problem with Gaisuku, you're coming week after week for draw estate. Um, husband was working Gaisuku, and every week you have to come here, you always go back late. They take long to pay the salary. The bank don't have the problem, but Gaisuku have the problem, and I need to stop the problem because it's right. too long. And, and long a little vice is gone. So like guys, so go break that shackle or that change or that course. I need them to break it that when you come here, you must dry your money says eight o'clock and gone. But I don't know if they, it's the fault of the bank or if it's the fault of the estate. But there are times when it would come early, but for the, for since the crap started, it's pure late, 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 late. Take for instance, since Friday the money wasn't here. As I come this morning, what happened to who got children? Mm, my grandchildren couldn't go to school this morning because got to pay in her to school, you got to catch trans, pee, blah, blah, blah. But thank God for it. Gaisuku is in deep financial problems and has repeatedly been given billions by the government to bail out the struggling sugar industry. A man's beer. Breaking news alert. Don't be scammed or fooled by top brand imported mattresses. The imported mattress has a 320 coil count. Comfort Sleep mattresses have 416 coils. Top brand imported coil thickness is 1 millimeter. Comfort Sleep mattresses, 2 millimeters. Top brand imported spring size is 55 inches by 75 inches. Comfort Sleep, 58 inches by 78 inches. Top brand imported protection mats are of poor quality and very thin. Comfort Sleep mattresses use a 780 gram protection mat. The top brand imported mattresses use a thinner foam. Comfort Sleep uses a wider and thicker foam. Don't waste your hard earned money on a poor quality imported mattress. By quality by Comfort Sleep Mattresses. September 30th, the best horses in Guyana descend on the spectacular Rising Sun Turf Club. Seven races, $10 million at stake. Don't miss your chance to experience Guyana's best racing ever, the President's Cup Championships, hosted by the Caribbean Nations Group. And before we go, good news for Guyana. An agreement was inked between Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago that will see improvements in a number of sectors. Relations between Guyana and the Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago were strengthened with the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding between the two CARICOM member states today. The MOU was signed at State House by President David Granger and Trinidad's Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley. The two states will be partnering on several sectors, among them energy, security, youth development and agriculture. According to President David Granger, there is nothing in the MOU that harms either of the two countries. I, I've heard it said um, that we will make it public. I, I, I don't know that there's anything that will be hidden. That, that, that couldn't be done before um, both sides agreed. But it's, there's no secret, as you said, there's nothing um, in the MOU um, which uh, seeks to harm the interests of one state or the other. Um, there was no sellout. Uh, there were some unjustified fears that uh, Guyana is giving away the family jewels, but that can't be true. It is simply a, a means of collaborating. Trinidad is bringing years of experience, um, not only in production, but also in marketing, in gas, in oil spills in dealing with multinational corporations. President Granger, speaking at a press conference after the signing of the MOU, said the two countries have shared a long and fruitful relationship. Today, we have taken a step forward by signing this MOU. 
which is largely concerned with cooperation in energy. But there are other areas of interest, um, and we extended our conversations to deal with agriculture, to deal with sport, to deal with and youth, to deal with security, and to deal with uh, cooperation in, in other fields. And we expect that as a result of this engagement today, relations between our two republics will become stronger. And that's a wrap for this edition of News In Depth. Do join us again tomorrow for another edition.